The man who beat the streak is prepared to strike again and annihilate his opponent, whether it's the F5 or the Kimura Lock. The result will be the same, a crushing defeat at the hands of the Beast Incarnate. I don't know about you, but I've really been looking forward to this. Two superstars going head to head. I love it. Regardless, the crowd is buzzing because Brock Lesnar is present and accounted for. I like what I'm seeing here from Brock Lesnar. What's your analysis of Neville? The way the WWE Universe has embraced him as one of their favorites has been absolutely amazing. Definitely looking confident in this one-on-one -on -one environment. That's a good sign. Here's the thing. This match, of course, isn't for the championship. But the champ can't afford to look past this one. If he does, he could lose momentum or even worse, get an injury. You gotta be kidding me, I can't believe this. We may have just seen a career come to an end right here in front of us. No kidding, Cole, this looks bad. You know, if there was ever a man built to be a WWE superstar, it has to be Brock Lesnar. He's got the body, the attitude, the intensity. He was a champion in college and added a WWE title to his resume within months after joining the company. I agree. The Beast was born for this, Colt. I won't argue with that. He is a ruthless competitor with the skills to match. But sometimes, I might take issue with Brock's tactics. Like the time at the Royal Rumble, when he nearly killed Big Show with a steel chair, even after Brock had already won the match. Still, there's no questioning his ability. And never that was relatively easy to get out of. Come on, check that out. We have a first here this evening. That was awesome. Misjudge that. Well, King, you said you're not going to question Brock Lesnar's ability, and you shouldn't. But you shouldn't question his tactics either. No matter what it might look like, and no matter what you or anyone else might think, Brock is only doing what's best for himself when it comes to winning matches and getting himself title shots. Brock Lesnar going to work now. Neville's starting to weaken. You have to wonder if he could recover from this, guys. You said it, Michael. He's going to need to mount an offensive fast if he wants to stay in this thing. In the face of adversity, you must be disciplined enough to stick to your strengths, Michael. Let's see if that's what happens here. Well, if those tactics of Brock Lesnar include pummeling unconscious competitors for no... Neville makes the cover, and an easy kickout breaks up the referee's count. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. He sees it! If he keeps up this pace, this can turn real ugly real fast. He's playing a wide range of offense here. I don't remember the last time he executed that maneuver. Brock Lesnar making his... Oh my God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. King, we're about to take a little trip. Oh, no. Yes. I'm afraid you're right. Suplex City. That's someplace nobody wants to go. What a lose. Oh, man. There's the finisher. This could be it. I'll tell you this. His opponent's in major pain right now. Well, this might be the worst yet. I think we know what this is.
get a singles win here, guys. I don't care how many wins you have. Whenever your hand is raised in victory, a certain level of excitement comes over you. And there's no denying that the Santa Clara crowd clearly liked what they just saw. Would you listen to them?